It is my pleasure to be here, uh, and particularly to be here with the, represent, the elected representation uh, for this area, uh, Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark, who has spent the morning shopping and looking uh, <laughs> right. with me, as well as Councilman uh, Mosby, who has, um, we've learned a lot about this morning on our, <laughs> on our shopping tour. I also want to thank <laughs> Brenda McKenzie and my whole team uh, at BDC. If we could give them a big hand for all of their yeah. work. I want to uh, thank all of the members of my team. Calliope Parthemos is here somewhere. Uh, and yeah, and oh. Mackenzie uh, Garvin. And if I missed any, anybody else on my team, I'm sorry. And I also want to thank our um, retail, the retail, what am Merchant, I calling it? Mer Merchant Village, Hamden Village Merchants Associate. Yes, and um, comic book place owner. Yeah, Atomic Books. <laughs> what am I supposed to call them? Graphic novels? Uh, or books is fine. Yeah, books. Well, they, they answer to anything. Yeah. <laughs> but more importantly, as far as I'm concerned, he's opening a bar in the back. <laughs> Very shortly. So it's going to, it's fun stuff. I want to thank you all. I also want to thank uh, Stephen Doyle and David Carroll and all of the businesses that participated in our, uh, our tour this morning. And I also want to thank our um, I mentioned uh, Stephen Doyle and uh, David Carroll and, and all of the uh, members of the, uh, the, our state partners for helping to launch the micro uh, loan program. I'm very glad to be in Hamden today. Hamden today. Hamden is a great representation of Baltimore. Uh, when I think about the character, the quirky character of Baltimore, you can see it uh, in every different shop uh, in Hamden. And it's something that I'm very, uh, very proud of. And it's something that I cherish as a Baltimorean. It really, uh, Hamden captures the essence of the uh, Baltimore entrepreneur. It provides a perfect backdrop to talk about our microloan program for small businesses. Today, we are celebrating the success of the Charmery. And I'm, uh, I would like to. You feel that way. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I would like to taste the success of the Charmery, hopefully shortly. Um, it's an example of what is possible when good policy intersects with the entrepreneurial spirit. Few traditional lenders offer microloans to small businesses because of the cost to process as well as maintain these small loans. To fill this gap, my office worked in partnership with the Baltimore Development Corporation, the Small Business Resource Center, uh, and uh, worked with other uh, financing partners to create Baltimore Microloan Program. The program provides critical financing to small businesses when their access to credit is limited, and I'm committed to making sure that Baltimore is a welcoming environment for small businesses. That is how we will keep the spirit that we have here alive. We want to help our small businesses to thrive and to prosper because when they do, our entire economy is stronger. I've been determined to implement the micro lending program throughout my entire career in public service, and it was ever the, the need for it became ever more present uh, after uh, as we were making our way out of the Great Recession. Uh, so you can imagine that January uh, was a very high point for me. The Baltimore Microloan Program was launched with a $250,000 uh, grant from the state. The city matched that contribution with $125,000, uh, and today BDC has approved $75,000 of microloans to help small businesses grow and, pro and prosper across Baltimore. My commitment to giving small businesses the tools that they need to succeed remains very strong. And as we move forward, my administration will continue to take the steps necessary to make opportunity for growth even more accessible to small businesses. Please take a moment, if you have not already, check out uh, baltimorecity.gov slash Baltimore Micro Revolving Loan Fund uh, to find out information about the microloan. And there you will find more information about loan requirements, because one of the uh, people we visited today was asking me about that. Uh, you can find out those about the qualifications and important contact information. Again, I want to thank everyone who participated in the tour. I've had a wonderful time. I don't think of, I can't think of a, a better uh, way to start a Wednesday. You know, get to skip the board of estimates and go what shopping. Happens? We're in recess. <laughs> oh, okay. That's. I, I think we should do this every Wednesday morning. Yeah, I do too. <laughs>
And now I would like to introduce uh, someone who I have um, found to be a great partner in, as, um, in her short time here at uh, Baltimore Development Corporation. Uh, she has uh, really hit the ground running and uh, believes in the spirit of uh, small business and knows that in order for Baltimore to continue to thrive uh, and for Baltimore's identity to thrive, we have to be great partners with small business and that is the head of Baltimore Development uh, Corporation, Brenda McKenzie. Thank you, Madam Mayor, and thanks everyone. Okay, so let me just ask a question. Everyone who loves small businesses or is an entrepreneur, clap your hands. Woo! So this is really, I really want to thank the mayor for her leadership because this couldn't be more important. When we think about what's special about the city, what's going to help us thrive, what's going to be the job creators in the future, it really is you. It's a small business owner. It's the entrepreneurs. When we think about the neighborhoods that we love to live in, the ones that are cool, the ones that have amenities, the ones where you can walk and shop, we think about you. So this is what we're here today to really celebrate you and to make sure that you know, that your friends know, that everybody knows that we're here to help that small business thrive. So we've got a number of our team members here, uh, Paul, Leon, uh, Jeff Pillis. We have a number of programs. The micro lending program is a fabulous program, one that we, we launched with the mayor's leadership earlier this year. Uh, but there's others available as well. As we were walking and talking, some people mentioned about facade improvements and different improvements. And that's really important because what we're trying to do is, is to make sure that we have the tools, we have the facilities to help you thrive. It's not about a cookie cutter approach. It's not about one program fits all. It's really about creating a, a, an ecosystem, a network to help the neighborhoods, help the community, help the small business owner really drive and thrive and move forward to the next level. So I really want to thank the mayor and her team for their leadership in this. This is really what brought me to this city, what's bringing other people to the city, and why the city is continuing to grow, not only in the number of businesses, but the number of residents. So keep up the good work. I really want to uh, introduce our, our entrepreneur here right now, Mr. Alima, Alima, and really thank him for his leadership and faith in, in, in the city and this neighborhood. Oh. What? She wants some ice cream. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna stop because we all want She's some ice cream. Wait till after okay. <laughs> all right. So David, you're. I, I'm actually not the entrepreneur. I'm just the ice cream maker. This is uh, the real entrepreneur. My wife, Laura Lima. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Um, David and I have been dreaming about uh, opening an ice cream shop for about 10 years now, and. To be in the Hamden community has been, been a dream of ours. It's the only place we could see the Charmery really thriving. And we're so thankful for the Baltimore Development Corporation and the City of Baltimore to have a program like the Baltimore Microloan and even the Facade Improvement Grant that allowed us to take the final steps and allow us to open our doors and uh, have such a successful business. It's been a dream come true and we're, we're truly brought, blessed. And we want to thank them. We just learned today that they've forgiven all of our debt. <laughs> thank you guys so much.